Hi, I'm Becky. I'm Scott. I'm Michelle. My name's Alton. I'm a small group leader. And this is the CityGate Summer Sundays Small Group Spotlight. Yay! <laughs> what is small group? A small group is a group of people from church. Connect during the week, get together, and just journey as uh, friends and extended family. Community, friendships and relationships on interests we have in common. How big is a small group? Uh, my small group, there's only four of us. My small group has 12 people in. My group has about six or seven. We run a digital small group, 11 people. Interestingly, uh, five of those have actually never stepped foot in the City Gate building, which is amazing. What makes your small group special? Each and every one of the ladies in my small group makes it special because we're able to connect with each other on a fortnightly basis. Definitely the friendships that you make. Yeah, definitely agree with that. Form friends for life, I guess. How has your small group changed? during lockdown. So I run a, a cycling small group. So obviously we always used to go out every month. So originally I had a small group that was meeting um, once a month and we did book club. And now our small group is online, so we've had to get used to Zoom calls. We've talked on levels now that we never really used to have time to talk about. And it's just connecting with people in a different way. What does a small group leader do? You do a lot more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have like icebreaker games. Check in with the ladies, see how they're doing, if they need anything prayed for. Fun things we're going to talk about. Build that relationship with everybody. Do small group leaders have all the answers? <laughs> Definitely not. No. If I don't have the answer, then I'll try and find someone that does and um, I try to help people as much as possible. Okay, so what makes a great small group session <laughs> laughing, lots of laughing. A bit of fun, a bit of laughter, try and spice things up a little bit. I think when you initially meet each other, you're not really sure. Slowly you see the layers and you're slowly seeing people's personalities, so that's good. And to be honest with you, sometimes small group, we actually just spend a half an hour to an hour just laughing about people's experiences from that week. What has been your small group best moment? Some of the funniest things. What would you do if you were stuck on an island? The group thought it was funny that I wanted to take my passport. So I was like, if I get rescued, people will know who I am. Hearing and, and experiencing people's growth during this lockdown period, but also just in their own walk with Jesus. And the best one was, the machete. You need a machete if you're going to be on a stranded on a desert island. We had one week where we had a really small, small group. There was only three of us. We were able to really help each other. And uh, it was just a really nice moment to feel that you've made a difference in somebody's life. Small group answered prayer. Definitely. When uh, your back's against the wall, who do you call? Your small group to come together. We're praying for people all the time. People finding jobs, people recovering from COVID, finding new places to live. And every week the ladies will say, oh, we did this, remember when we prayed for this and this worked. So I think that just being together with each other is answering prayers regularly. Small groups online or in person? Definitely in person, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> online has been working and it's working for the moment. Zoom has, has technical uh, glitches, as we all know. Mine goes without saying, cycling indoors doesn't really work. We do what we need to do during lockdown, but there's nothing like seeing everybody. Small groups have taught me patience and trust. The right angle for the lighting on the camera to make sure it's at a distance so we're not doing the super close up, but really it's taught me uh, much more about the ladies that I connect with and it's helped me build friendships. How we can reach out um, no matter where we are. Uh, we've had some great stories of people logging in while they're still at their night shift at work, walking home from the, the tube station, doing life with us, but in really, really random situations and circumstances. Why join a small group? Um, it's easy. Once you're in a small group, you get to really feel the community and the love and people start to get to know you better. You'll find the right one for you and it will feel right um, and you will see growth um, in your own life and in your own journey with Jesus. You get to connect with great people. Um, often it's with similar interests and you're able to just build great relationships with people that love God.